And they know this old stories are the best. I remember when I was at the seminary, Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, and I, I was over there being studious and, and got, I, listen, I got a master's degree. I got a doctorate. Yeah, you know, I did. I got all that stuff. Why did I do all that? <laughs> but, <laughs> but while I was over there, I remember old Benji and Connie, uh, they were there too. Benji and I were roommates at Baylor. Benji's from Winfield, Louisiana. Connie's from Shreveport. We always put an extra S in Shreveport. When you live in Monroe, it's Shreveport. And you go over there to Walmart with a K, Walmart. <laughs> Brother Dennis, have you been to that Walmart? <laughs> I remember when Benji and Connie fell in love. And then when they finished seminary, they went down to St. Francisville, Louisiana. Went down to St. Francisville, Louisiana, and, and he was minister of music down there, a song starter down there. And back, when the, back before praise music. I mean, they'd sing All Rise and stuff like that, some good songs, you know, back then. But it, you did that at youth camp where it belongs. <laughs> In church, you sang hymns. I remember one time we asked this little old lady at our church, you know, ma'am, you're the oldest in our church. You know, Mother's Day, which hymn do you want? Us? We're going to let you choose all the hymns. Which hymn do you want? And she said, I want him and him <laughs> and him. That's a joke there. See, they look like it felt like I needed to throw that in there. Felt led of the Lord. But, uh, but they were there at their church, and they were going to have a banquet. You know how you have these banquets, these Valentine banquets and stuff. You know, churches, we may not drink that much, but we love to eat. We, we buffet our bodies. Uh, you know, I have never, ever preached on gluttony. Yeah, you didn't want to go there, do you? Listen, I, I've thought about writing a book, Carbs for Christ. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm alive. Adkins is dead, okay? Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. But uh, I like carbohydrates. Well, they're having a banquet. And about every five years, women go through a stage where they, they want to wear a formal to a banquet. You know, they want to wear, let's, we're going to wear our formals, and we're going to dress up. It's going to really be nice and everything. And, you know, we've had barbecue the last four years, and, you know, I'm, we're going to dress up, you know. And you can wear a tux or a tie. Oh, God, not. Oh, man. They just go through that stage. I've done a study on it. Well, they were going to have their banquet, and, and Connie only had one formal. They were just been right out of seminary, didn't have any money. And so she tried to put her formal on and everything, zip that zipper up. You know, it goes from the hip to the neck. You know, you're trying to zip that thing up. Well, she's trying to get that done. What you need to know, she and Benji had been mad at each other. They weren't talking. In ministry, it happens. Uh, I've, I've known Carter and Michelle when they just, you know. I mean, Michelle every now and would go, Carter, Carter. But, oh, Michelle. And then... And it's normal. It's normal. Some of you are here tonight, and you're faking it for Jesus. You're faking it for Jesus. Look, there's, there's several couples. Look, that old boy, he just broke loose. He just broke loose. Yeah, and the woman's sitting there, I'm going to get him when we get home, too. And tell him. But we bought our tickets, and we're here, okay? We bought our tickets, and we're here. And, well, Benji and Connie were mad. They hadn't talked in about a day. Well, finally, she broke silence when she said, can you fix my zipper? Can you, can you do that much? <laughs> he said, I can zip it up, woman. So he grabbed that zipper, and he was going to play a little tune on it to try to get her in a good mood. He went, <laughs> you know how music people are, Tim. <laughs> you know, and, you know, trying to get her happy. We want y'all happy. We want you women happy, you know. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to make my wife happy. And she just had the big birthday back in November, the big one, you know. <laughs> I don't know what she's going through, but every night our air conditioning is on 68 degrees. <laughs> Has it happened yet, Carter? Semi-conda? Oh, it's coming, baby. It's coming. 
And then at 2 in the morning, turn the fan on. Turn the fan. The fan? <laughs> and I said in a nice way, I said, baby, baby. I try to be tender. Cause I've been to the seminary. I've studied these things. I said, I said, hey, baby, are you going through a change? And she went, no, I'm not. I went, okay, okay baby. Look, old Tim's sweating down here. He's, yeah, I must have hit on a nerve or something. You know what I've learned? When you talk about stuff like that, take them out to eat at a real nice eating place because they don't holler in public, see? So we went out to eat at a real nice place. I said, baby love. I said, how long does that last? And... She, under control, she went, I've heard at least four years. I went, four years. I had a buddy ask me the other day, he said, hey, Swan, how long are you going to be on the road like you are all the time? I said, at least four more years. Some of you men... You're wanting to say something, but you're, you, you know, you're, your wife's right there, and you're going, don't get her stirred up. Don't get her stirred up. <laughs> well, anyhow, Benji and Connie, back to Benji and Connie. So he's trying to zip that zipper up, you know, <laughs> and then broke the zipper. It broke. He broke the zipper. Oh, my gosh. She said, did you break my zipper? He said, I'm sorry, Connie. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. You can't fix a busted zipper. You know, you have to, he had to, he had to uh, pin it here. He had to pin it here. Because remember, when you bust that zipper, it sort of zips and then skips a big section. And that's too much flesh in a Baptist church, I'll tell you that. Whether you're contemporary or traditional. So they had to pin it, and they had to pin it. Then she had to wear a shawl over it. She had to wear a shawl to cover that flesh. A shawl. She was the only woman that wore a shawl that night. It was in June. <laughs> and, and these little church ladies, you know how they are. They go, oh, Connie, I love your shawl. <laughs> well, it's always so cold in the fellowship hall, so I just thought I'd wear it. My grandmother made it, so I thought I'd wear it. Well, it's beautiful, beautiful. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> well, when they finished that banquet and got in the car to go home, man, most of, you, most of us have been there, hadn't we? Some of you youngins out there, you're going to join us one day. <laughs> it could be tonight. <laughs> but you know when you get in that car and you're driving home, and she says, I have never been so embarrassed in all of my life. I was the only woman with a shawl on. To which he said, well, they said you look good. They were being Christian. <laughs> well, when they got home, they went to bed. He slept on his side. She slept on her side. Next morning, she gets up, she gets dressed, and she wakes him up. She says, I'm going shopping. I'm going to the mall. I'm going to the mall in Baton Rouge, and I'm going to buy a formal. I might buy two of them. I'm going to charge it on the charge card. I don't care what little Larry Burkett says or little Davy Ramsey. I'm charging it for Jesus. Go ahead, woman. I don't slow them down. She took off. That afternoon when she pulled back into that driveway, she pulled in right behind Benji's Mustang convertible. 1964 and a half. His daddy bought that in Winfield, Louisiana. Light yellow on the bottom, black soft top, black interior. 64 and a half, because that's when they came out. And she gets out of her car and she's walking past his car. Benji's underneath the car, the Mustang working on it. 
Connie's got these bags, about 10, 11 bags. I mean, have you ever noticed how a woman can carry that many bags? Come into your house, open the door, close the door. Walk in and go, got a little something for everybody that had a sale. <laughs> the next night, they come through the same door and stop and go, I could use some help with the groceries. <laughs> Would somebody like to get up off their little blessed assurance and help me with the groceries? <laughs> I said, good night, woman. You carried 12 bags in last night by yourself. I said that one time. That's why I'm on the road as much as I am. But uh, so, you know, Connie's walking past Benji, and she looks down at him, and she gets an idea. I'm going to teach him a lesson to never mess with my zipper again. She looked around to see if she saw any church people out there in their front yard. She didn't see any. They were young. See, church people look through windows with binoculars. And they didn't know that then. She squatted down and grabbed his zipper, said, I'll teach him a lesson. And she <laughs> looks around, gives a little extra, <laughs> picks her bags up and said, taught him a lesson. She walks through the house, opens the door, closes the door, walks in the house, sets everything on the kitchen table. Walks into the den, and there's Benji watching television. <laughs> I mean, she's losing it. <laughs> Benji said, I'm sorry, Connie. I'm sorry about the dress. I don't care about the dress. <laughs> Who's under your car? <laughs> Bubba next door. <laughs> I mean, she's losing it. <laughs> what, what's my... You open out there and zipped on his zipper. You what? I zipped on his. You zipped on his zipper? <laughs> Our ministry could be over, woman. I thought that was you. I didn't zip on his zipper. You did? Did you zip a bunch? I did zip a bunch. <laughs> Good. No. And then, in feminine fashion, she said, "You go out there <laughs> and you fix it, and don't you dare tell him it was me." Or you won't be singing, what a fellowship, what a joy divine for a long time. <laughs> Benji felt led to go out there. He goes out there, Bubba's still underneath the car. He said, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba doesn't move. He said, now Bubba, Bubba, Bubba doesn't move. He squats down, looks underneath the car. Bubba is out cold, just... Benji, Bubba, 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 Bubba comes through. He said, Benji, I was putting the last twist on your old filter. Some woman came and grabbed my zipper, started zipping my zipper. I looked up, hit my head on the old paint. <laughs> Benji said, I've heard about her. She lives way down the street. She lives way down the street. 